Hi, welcome back to Sage Alpha Garage with me, Shaker, and today we're beginning the Ram Suburbation, part one. What we're doing is adding some new accessories to the shop truck. We've got a new grill to go on, We've got a new antenna so we don't have a big long whip, and we got some visors, interior lighting, and a tailgate assist. Let's jump right into it. The first thing we're actually going to start with is something simple. We're just going to switch the whip antenna out for this Bing Fu antennas connectivity it's supposed to be a, a rocket probably looks like a bullet so here's the antenna so, kind of a rocket shape and then it comes with all the adapters to figure out which way it goes on Getting the old one off is pretty simple. Adjustable wrench. Just that easy. And it unscrews. The antenna comes with a bunch of different fittings of threaded sizes so you can easily find the one that fits for your vehicle. It also comes with a couple of these little collars. Uh, not very useful for anything, but I'm gonna put them on there. And then the new antenna just easily screws down on. Getting the OEM grill disconnected is pretty simple. Take off the radiator shroud that lays over here. And then you have four 10 millimeter bolts. Very simple. A couple clips that plug in. And then you just give the whole thing a pull along the bottom. And then the tabs that you see down here, they all slide out of that mount. And that's it for the OEM grill. Very simple removal. So with the grill out, you gotta take the back plastics off of it because unfortunately this is a destructive installation. So we do have to cut this part out and this part out here of the OEM grill and reuse the outer ring. There's the grill. When you're doing this, these, this part here does not actually go back on, but I wanted to keep the cooling for the radiator so that doesn't get affected. So I did make them fit again. Had to use a hole saw to cut out where the nuts are uh, that you put on for the Rough Country grill. And a couple of the clips up here don't work, but they get held in by this bar anyway, so everything is tight and secure. Time to get that cold air intake in. The Canon cold air intake that I got from an auction uh, is just for 2019 to 2023 Ram 1500s. I thought it was for Ram 1500 Classic. So, we are sticking with the OEM. As the difference is, the box doesn't fit. Uh, from KNN on this model truck. So, cold air intake is going to be a future upgrade. There we have it. Tailgate assist is installed. Very simple. Couple bolts. I couldn't figure out their rib nut, so I used my own. The vent visors are on. Not sure if they're going to work. With the in channel, uh, when the window goes up, it automatically comes down unless you hold it to stay up. So those might have to come out and put some, put the ones that go on the actual body themselves on, not in channel. It's kind of foolish that the window does that. Uh, maybe there's a fuse I can take out that keeps the safety part of the window not working. And then we change the bulb in here to an LED so we can see. Not everything worked out today. We. Uh, didn't get the cold air intake installed because this is a 2016 and that one's for 2019 to 2023. But again, it's from the auction, so the information wasn't exactly correct. And we got the grill on the front, which is a big success for the day. That looks pretty good. There is a few spots where it's like, it doesn't, doesn't bend properly, but for the most part, it looks all right. I think if you're to do this, it's not a bad option for what you get, but it might be a better option just to go get a black grill from uh, another model. 
or another trim. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.